a couple exciting games this past weekend uh, with both of them going into overtime. It's always fun when you win in overtime. It's uh, disappointing, obviously, if you're on the other end of the score. But, uh, you know, both games I thought we played uh, well. Uh, certainly the goaltender for Harvard, not only Friday night, but Saturday night came back with a very strong performance. I think Friday night we had 50 shots on net and uh, came back Saturday, and I think we were close to 40. Uh, but, uh, you know, good games, uh, very competitive, and, and certainly very pleased with the way we played. And look forward to the games this weekend against Syracuse, uh, wrap up uh, six straight home games, and uh, looking forward to the opportunity to play uh, another non conference series. Mark, how do you? keep the team from pressing when it's getting so many chances and they're they're not going in. Uh, it it's can grind at a team after a while. It seems like your players were able to stay with it, though. They were. And, uh, you know, when you get in a situation where, you know, you seem to have a lot of momentum, you're getting some very quality scoring opportunities. Uh, you know, you just keep talking to yourself. And we're talking on the bench just to try to continue to create opportunities. and. You know, the odds are at some point one might go in, but, you know, I've seen nights where, you know, the goaltender is just better than the shooters and, and they can make 50, 55 saves and, and, and win a hockey game for their team. That's the, the neat part about our game is that, uh, you know, the goaltenders play a big role and certainly, uh, you know, she made a lot of quality saves. Uh, but, you know, the, the crowd was into the games. Uh, there was a lot of energy in the building and, uh, you know, the way they ended, uh, very dramatic, and, and certainly for Annie scoring both overtime goals, uh, you know, very exciting. You've been around this sport for a little while. Um, have you ever seen somebody score back-to-back -back game winners in overtime? Yep. Uh, when I was on the men's side, uh, I'm, I'm not sure which year it was, but uh, uh, Dave Huckalo against North Dakota, uh, again, packed house, uh, a lot of energy. I think one of the games we came back, we were down two or maybe three goals, and uh, he scored uh, Friday night in the overtime winner. And I remember looking at the reaction of Dean Blaze, who was coaching North Dakota at the time, and, you know, a feisty guy, a lot of energy. And, uh, you know, he was extremely mad because, uh, you know, the way we ended up winning that game. And then it came back Saturday night, same type of thing. You know, you get into overtime, and all of a sudden, you know, you got Ryan Preck and Hucklow out there. and goes in the back of the net. So, uh, yeah, I've seen that happen. Uh, so as I was leaving the rink Saturday night, uh, it just sort of dawned on me after Annie had scored uh, again that, uh, oh, I thought I've seen that before. But uh, different building, but uh, same type of outcome. And again, when you're on the winning side, you're playing at home, uh, you know, the crowd's into it. There's a lot of excitement in the building. It's just a lot of fun when you leave the rink. Is there such thing as a clutch player in hockey? You know, in basketball, you want somebody to take the, the last shot, or baseball, you want somebody up at the at the right time. Is there such thing as a clutch player in hockey? I think uh, you tend to see players rise uh, in certain situations, whether it's uh, you know on a power play uh, when a team needs a big goal or needs a big play. Uh, you know, you look at the NHL, and you know some of the players are able to rise up a little bit uh, higher when they get into the playoffs and get more excited and um, you know for you know good players elite players they tend to they, they want to rise uh, in certain occasions and you know they're generally going to be on the ice in those situations so they're going to get an opportunity and uh, you know the way that power play had been uh, Saturday night uh, you know we got the one late in overtime and I'm trying to figure out like okay this is a good time for your power play to work and as uh, the clock was winding down. It looked like we weren't going to get an opportunity. And all of a sudden, you know, your big player makes a big play. And, uh, you know, those are the type of things that uh, you like to be on the ice. You want to be in those situations. And then when you get an opportunity, you want to capitalize. And Annie was able to do it both nights. So what will you see from Syracuse this weekend? Well, knowing Paul, uh, you know, I think he's been there now 10 or 12 years. And uh, he was at St. Lawrence for a long time. Uh, he's been in the business, uh, 
on the women's side for, I think, 19 years and was on the men's side for a while. Uh, they'll be well coached. Uh, they compete at a real high level, uh, you know, and so that's what we'll see. We haven't seen any footage on them. Uh, you know, played in the tournament this past weekend out in Vermont, and uh, I know when we played them last year, the first night we played them, I think it was a one nothing game and uh, very tight checking, uh, not many penalties in that game. Then we came back the next night and scored a couple power play goals and ended up winning by a couple goals. But again, well coached, uh, you know, very competitive team, and they'll come in here and work very hard. What of your freshmen would you say has grown the most since the start of the year to now, about halfway through? Well, I mean, if you look at uh, the forwards with Britta and, and uh, Shirley, I mean, both have, uh, you know, made contributions, uh, been pretty consistent. Uh, but from the start, it's probably Britta just because, you know, we had her down, uh, you know, probably on our fourth line to start the season. And, uh, you know, she's played herself up into a different position. So now she's playing on our power play. Uh, we've used our on our penalty kill. And so just from a playing standpoint and get more of an opportunity, I probably tend to lean towards her.